Hello again, everyone. We're over working on the 67 Ford F100. We did a previous video on the exhaust system that we installed. The stainless exhaust. There's a outlet coming out from the rear wheel on it. Show you what we're doing today. Here's his interior. He has TMI bucket seats. Brown carpet to match the seats. Got the TMI dash panel or dash pad. But he wanted a console between these seats, so they're kind of hard to find. I think kind of impossible to find. So we're we're building one. Uh, he has some material that matches the seats that we're going to be putting on the console. Uh, we're also making a provision for the floor shifter. What we did, we made a cardboard template to start with, and. This is the back or the rear. You can see it curves down. And this is gonna have a lid on it for storage in here. You see we've got the storage compartment there, carpet on it. This will be covered with the board and the material. Here's where the shifter will go in this area. And then he's got a couple of cup holders he's gonna put right in that area. And then a clock he's going to put in the front. Now this, as you can see, it'll come down and come back up into under the dash. So this fits really tight up under the dash. We test, test fit it about a dozen times and it, it really it fits well. We're beginning to put some cover. Well, let me show you the braces first. Here's what we did in the, for bracing. This is just one by twos. And this one's been covered, that one's been covered, but you can see we have braces from front to back. Under the material, we're using this rubber membrane. And this is just, just glued on. You see this side here, we have it trimmed and it's ready for the material. It's using two-part spray adhesive. You spray one part on the material and then the other part on the surface and you wait about five minutes and it'll stick together. Now this side, we've already put the material on it. it matches the seats. Uh, we gotta finish gluing it. We just have the main part and the bottom glued, but we gotta go back and do these edges, glue them down. Then once we get that on, we'll have to cut our our boards for the, the back and around the shifter and all of this we, we haven't cut them out yet that'll be the next the next thing in line and then we got to make a lid here this is just going to be a lift up where you can access the storage area there all right we're going to finish gluing this side and then glue the material on the other side and I'll show you what it looks like there's a four shifter and that's out of a King Ranch Ford pickup. The cable that attaches to it. We have all this loose. Of course, we got wiring here that'll be finished up once we get the console made. All right, here's the first side that we just finished up trimming. So now we'll glue the other side. Finished up the other side. And I didn't mention a while ago, but we flared it out at the back where it goes in between behind the seats. So that covers up most of the area that you would see behind each seat. And on the other end, you can probably see it a little better. There we go. See how it's, it's about four inches difference, I think four and a half 
wider than it is on the main area here. It's just a matter of cutting out that board, that cover, and the rest of this. All right, we couldn't resist. We wanted to do a test fit. And you see what I was talking about. It wraps completely up under the dash there and just sits on the carpet. And here's our flyer back here where it goes in behind the seats. A little more progress. We've got our lid made. Hinges, so lots of storage under there. Now we're cutting out this piece where the shifter goes. And we made a cardboard template. that so got a little bit of spacing on each side and a little bit of spacing on front to back that'll allow us to wrap our material over the board so that should work now we're going to cut this out Shifter board cut, and we've got the underlayment on it. The rubber that the vinyl goes on top of. And next, we're going to mount these speakers on each side of the of the console. Alrighty, we got both sides cut out, so I think that will work fine. Okay, I didn't video any of this, but we put a leather strip couple of them there on the very back of the console and these rivets they just came with a little kit that you put the two sides together and take a comes with a punch too and you just punch them together and then we just used two part adhesive like we used on all the rest of it and there we have our leather straps on the very back and on the lid. Okay, we're to a stopping point today. Pretty much, well, we do need to do one more thing. We need to put a little loop of leather here for a pull to open it and to close it. We'll do that before we quit. But pretty much finished from here back. Uh, the shifter, we just need to cover the material but we we're still waiting on a cup holder we got two cup holders that go here and then there's a decorative piece that goes around them so we're waiting on that decorative piece we were talking about why these are so expensive if you try to buy one and i don't think you could even buy one for this truck but assuming you could they're really expensive and now we know why we spent probably 10 or 12 hours already and work what you see here. But it does look nice. And here's the, there's a clock and it goes up in the front up there got a clock and then a heat and air vent there. Right, time to cut cut out for the cup holders and we got a USB that's going to mount underneath this bezel and then we got a 12 volt plug also. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to cut this opening out slightly larger than the inside of these cup holders. Here's a final look at the console. You can see we went and added the leather straps on the shifter portion all the way up to the dash. And we've got the clock put in, heat air vent. I mentioned uh, all those wires will disappear once he gets there, all of them hooked up to where they belong. They'll go behind the console. And these, these sections are removable. They're just setting down in there, just a tight fit. So if you have to do something, access underneath this, it's not a, not a big problem. Here's a good example right here. You just just slide in. And there's the leather straps all the way to the back of the cab. Speaker on each side. Next we're gonna turn our attention to the door panels. And we're going, to, we're going to cover these with the vinyl also. I think it's going to work okay. As good as that glue sticks, I don't see any problem. And once we get the vinyl on, in this, this wide section here that's in the middle, we're going to put a leather strap like we put on the console and a handle here too. Just a leather handle where you can pull the door to. Wipe it all off, get it as clean as we can, then we'll put the vinyl on it. Okay, material cut, and we just put it on the panel after letting the glue dry about five minutes or so. And we're just going back with a, about a little roller, and then we're actually using a, just a sharpie in those ribs. Fits pretty good down in there. And we just roll the edges and make sure everything's stuck and then we'll flick it over. And now we're spraying the back edge. And about five minutes, we'll wrap that over. And in the corners, we'll just put a slit in the vinyl where you can stretch it, make it fit tight. Kind of see how we've done this. Now, we'll go back and trim this excess off here, but that's what the corners look like. Alrighty, we need to score where the, the two holes are for the latch and the handle, or the window. And we've already put glue on them, so we just Cut a cross slit in them and fold them back over or under. Here's a leather strap we're going to put down the middle. And probably right in here, we're going to make a loop in it, and that's going to be our handle. And then we're going to double this. We're going to cut another piece to go from here to here and rib it on each side. That'll make the handle twice as thick. And using the same rivets we used on the console, just longer. Because we're going through more. Just got a little dolly under there and the back of the rivet sets in it. Okay. 
Okay, that's one one side. This is a passenger side, so it's ready to go back on the truck. And you can see where we doubled the leather where the handle is. So I think that'll work. Well, there's a completed door panel for the passenger side. And there's a handle. All right, driver's side done. Haven't put the handles on, but got a few more screws to put in, but that completes the door panels. The last thing we're going to be doing for this, this video, we're going to make some new kick panels. This truck didn't have any, they just just a solid piece as you can see there. And we're gonna first make us a cardboard template and then we'll cut those out of some plywood and cover them and put them. All right, here's our pattern that we made for the kick panel. This is a passenger side. Uh, driver's side is pretty much the reverse of this, only the dash comes down lower. Yeah, it'd be up in here. The dash comes down lower on the driver's side, so we'll have to cut that out when we do it. But we mark this on the plywood, and now we're cutting it out. did have to cut out for the AC lines, that's what you see there in the very back. And that's a pretty good fit for the first time. I think we can push it in and make it work right. Yeah, so. Now here's our plywood cut out. This would be for the passenger side. And we wanted a couple of accent details here in the middle, so we just Cut out the foam where the material will glue down into the opening, and we'll have a couple of accents across. Alrighty, we have the driver's side already put in, and this is a passenger's side, of course, that's obvious. And this is where we're going to put a little screw just to hold it into the side of the cab. Alright, kick panels are finished. There's the, driver, the passenger side. And there's the driver's side. So that completes this video on the, the, the console build and the kick panels and the door panels. Uh, we still have to put a headliner in and then we're going to cover this area behind the seats right here. So that'll be in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. And we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.